Hans Haverkamp. Uh, I'm a Dutch master florist and I'm here at my flower school, the Hans Flowers Flower School, and I'm going to be sharing some hot technical tips with you. <coughs> so today's little technical tip is how to use a knife. When we cut flowers, we can use different pieces of equipment. This is the best thing to use. There's also a pair of scissors or a pair of secateurs. And really what we want to achieve with a flower, in nearly all cases, there are some differences for specific flowers, but is basically that we get this lovely long cut on the stem. What we want to achieve is this lovely angled cut in the stem that exposes as much of the centre of the stem to the water, which means that the flower will just drink much better. And the knife, you can see, creates a really beautiful clean cut. If we do this with a pair of scissors, if you look closely, you'll see what happens is that the stem gets almost squished first before it cuts. And you can even see that here, you can see that isn't as clean. And the same with secateurs. Again, you can see there's a slight squishing. And really what you're doing is in that way is almost squishing some of the cells. And squished cells are not gonna drink water, allow the flower to drink water that well. Quite often that and these uh, don't make great companions because it means that you'll end up cutting your fingers. So my little hot tip for the day is invest in this. This is not to avoid you going to the A&E, but this is to avoid you. This is actually a preventative thing. So first of all, cut a, a nice wide strip of plaster. And the best plaster to use is the one which where you cut it a piece off. You don't have those tiny plasters and the fabric ones, because the fabric gives you a quite a strong barrier. And what I'm gonna do, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put that plaster exactly where I'm very likely to hit my thumb with the blade of the knife. And I just wrap that round like that. And that becomes my finger guard. So then to actual cutting, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the knife. So you can see like that, I hold it with my fingers clench between literally in the nook of my fingers like that and then I aim the blade directly at my thumb and you can see that in this way. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the flower stem and we're going to place the flower stem between my thumb and the blade and I twist the flower stem forward away from me and what automatically happens is that you can still see that blade is still facing my thumb. And all I do is I push with my thumb to catch. You can see that the blade just catches into the stem itself. Now, logic would dictate at this point that you pull the knife towards you and you push forward with your thumb. That's the way to cut your finger open. What we're gonna do is we're going to just catch that blade and then we're going to pull the stem away. So literally that action. Put the flower, pull away. And that way you can see you get this beautiful cut. So you can see I've got my blade facing my thumb. Stem goes in between and it goes one side of my thumb and the other side of the knife and then I just pull that stem away. So that's the movement I'm making. I'm not doing this. I'm doing just so that you'll feel the blade catch and then pull that away. When you get to things like this, which are much more woody, again, it is best to cut it with a knife, but if you find that you're, you're just too worried about ending up with A&E, then you can use a pair of secateurs. A good little trick, with woody stems is to make a diagonal cut, but then 
and that's where obviously you need secateurs. Scissors are no good for this because the wood stems are too strong. So basically put your blade on the center of the stem and just give that a nice cut like that. So you're basically exposing a little bit. And then we cut through the center. So basically put your blade on the center of the stem and just give that a nice cut like that. So you're basically exposing a little. And that was how not to cut your fingers, but to cut the flowers really well. Today's tip.